What's going on guys? Hook here with another first impression of uh, yet another aircraft. In this case it is the Aerosoft uh, PB7 Catalina and uh, the aircraft's a few years old but uh, Aerosoft's work quality has really held up and uh, cockpit especially looks great. So we're doing a little FS economy flight here. Let's see here, we'll just look at where we're going. Looks like we're going to a uh, KAVX, which is a uh, just seven nautical miles that away, 307. So we're gonna see if we can find it here. Really short flight. Okay, well, that thing accelerates quick, don't it? There we go, airborne. Floats up. sound really cool on this plane. So this is a land based field. We gotta be this way somewhere. So you know P3D really can wake up uh, some of these motor aircraft. I've uh, got a video of the tri-motor up too that I've been using. And it's 2010 I think maybe 2011. But the lighting effects and the higher resolutions you can put in here can really make Especially if it's one that had a. I don't know these engines too well, by the way, so I'm gonna wind back on them a little bit. Yeah, especially one that had a lot of effort into it in the first place, which is quite often the case with Aerosoft products. Looks like we're heading about a 307 here. I do not see the gear for this. Might get lost. Use a modernized version, which is cool if you do FS economy like me. And, uh, that includes this GPS, which I'm not too familiar with. The plane sounds cool, don't it? Let's fly by. Now, I've heard a lot about this plane being very complicated to manage, and. Uh, here. I know the engines can be temperamental from what I hear. I figure this airfield has got to be close. I'm seven nautical miles this way. Check my water compass, make sure I'm flying the right direction. Check my assignment again, too. Yeah, from 311, KAVX, seven nautical miles, 307. right there. How convenient. So let's slow down. Probably way too fast to put our gear down, but to hell with it. Don't really know what this thing stalls at, but it's kind of a fat uh, mofo, so we're uh, going to keep the speed up a little bit here. Open the window just because. That's kind of a short runway, man. I, <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna go. This is a big plane. Okay, a little sensitive in the uh, elevator axis there. Oh god. Very sensitive. Easy, easy, baby. Little power, baby. Come on. Okay, I'm on. Ground effect. We better start stopping quick. Yeah, let's get these brakes on. Oh god, too much elevator, too much elevator, porpoise. Not good. Not good. Let's 
get the nose down. Now the brakes. Ooh. <laughs> make it. Now the real question is where in the hell is the parking brake because that's how you end your FSE flight. I have no clue where that shit is. So I'm going to just try my default binding for it here. Oh, look at that. We did it. Alright. Let's see how we did on that flight. Fun little deal. We'll go to our log. I got fluid for my company. Hey, do we make money? Oh, 300 bucks. Baller shot caller right there. So yeah, there you go, guys. That's my uh, first impression of the uh, Catalina. Like I said, it's a few years old, but uh, holds up well. I think I'll have fun with it flying it around in FSE and stuff. Yeah, engine sounds are pretty cool, right? Thanks for watching.